Hi guys, in today's video, we'll talk about the difference between multi-user MIMO, MU MIMO, and single-user MIMO, SU MIMO. Multi-user MIMO and single-user MIMO are two antenna technologies that are used in modern wireless networks, including 4G and 5G mobile networks. While both multi-user MIMO and single-user MIMO are part of the overall multiple input, multiple output MIMO technology, there are key differences between the two that we will cover in this video. Multi-user MIMO uses radio communication layers from multiple cellular network antennas to support multiple mobile devices simultaneously. Single-user MIMO, on the other hand, uses radio communication layers from multiple antennas to support a single device at a time. So what's the difference? Multi-user MIMO can support multiple devices simultaneously, whereas single-user MIMO, as the name suggests, can support only one device at a time. Both multi-user MIMO and single-user MIMO are used in 4G and 5G mobile networks. Now, there seems to be a misconception around multi-user MIMO as some people consider it to just be a feature of the massive MIMO antenna technology that is used by 5G networks. But multi-user MIMO is just a type of MIMO and it can exist in any MIMO variant, including massive MIMO in 5G and the regular MIMO in 4G LTE. Just so you know, Multi-user MIMO is also used by other modern wireless networks, including Wi-Fi 6. Now let's talk about the different communication layers in multi-user MIMO and single-user MIMO. The MIMO technology in 4G LTE and 5G networks is based on the principles of spatial multiplexing, which is also known as space division multiplexing, SDM. SDM consists of a number of antenna elements that are built into an antenna panel in such a way that they're physically separated from each other in space, hence the word space division multiplexing, separated in space, with multiple antenna elements built into the antenna panels of the transmitter and receiver, the communication between the base station and the mobile phone, or cell tower and the cell phone, takes place in various layers. This way, the antenna elements can communicate multiple data streams in parallel between the transmitter and the receiver by efficiently utilizing the same time and frequency resources. For example, the original LTE uses a MIMO configuration of 4 by 4 foot downlink, which means there are four communication layers in the downlink. And what is downlink? Downlink is a communication from the base station to the mobile phone, or you can say cell tower to cell phone. Since these layers can carry separate streams of data or data streams, depending on the data rate required for a particular user device, the network can decide how to utilize the available data rate. For example, suppose the network decides to offer a higher data rate to a single user at a time, for example, for watching a 4K video. In that case, it may use single user MIMO to allocate all the available layers to one particular user at a given time. However, if the network decides to accommodate multiple simultaneous data sessions at any given time, it may use multi-user MIMO to share the available data rate with multiple users. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time. 